Hello, my name is Zlata Polishuk. I am a medical consultant at Neurosoft Company. Today, we will discuss the method for assessing the eustachian tube function using the ATEMP device. Before the examination, it is necessary to perform otoscopy and ensure the absence of earwax in the patient's external ear canal, as well as exclude inflammatory conditions of the outer and middle ear. Connect the ATEMP unit to the terminal or PC using the USB cable. Before starting the working day, we perform daily calibration of the device. To do this, go to the settings, press System Preferences, Daily Calibration. Take the probe, insert the probe tip firmly into the test cavity, then press the Start button. Calibration is completed. You can start working. Next, select a suitable sized ear tip. Firmly put it on the probe tip and insert it into the patient's external ear canal. For better fixation, you can use a special handle. It is not recommended to hold the probe with your hand during the examination. Place the unit on the patient using a special shoulder harness. Before starting the examination, we create a new patient in the database. Enter the name, last name, and date of birth. You can also enter other data if necessary. Press the check mark in the bottom right corner. Choose the necessary examination. ETF-1L for the left ear or ETF-1R for the right ear, respectively. At the start of the examination, a seal control will appear on the screen. If the ear tip is selected in the wrong size and there is a leakage, or if the ear tip rests against the wall of the external ear canal, the test will be automatically paused. A tympanometric curve graph number one will appear on the display. After pressing the arrow, instructions for performing the Valsalva maneuver will appear. After the patient performs the maneuver, press OK to obtain the second tympanogram. Press the arrow to receive instructions for performing the Toynbee maneuver, after which the third tympanometry is performed. All three tympanograms are in one test, allowing the doctor to visually assess the graph's mutual positioning. Below, on the black field, information about the peak pressure of the maximum eardrum mobility for the first, second, and third tympanograms is indicated. For convenient assessment, the difference in peak pressure for the second and first and third and second tests is automatically calculated on the bottom line. After completing the examination, it's necessary to save the test results. Press the square and the floppy disk icon. If you need to print, press the printer icon. To exit the examination, press the arrow in the bottom left corner.